Hello, my Capricorns, Danny Moon here, y'all. Uh, call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. Y'all know the mantra. I'm here to give you a little quickie. If it goes well, then I won't have to give you a bonus. But if it's short, then I'm going to have to give you a bonus. Um, I did channel some things for you. Um, anything that I channel or any of the cards that I use um, or that spirit takes out um, will not resonate with everybody, will not resonate with every single Capricorn. You just got to work with spirit, work with me, okay? Listen to the end, see what you could take from it, um, and give the rest to the universe so that another Capricorn can get it, okay? Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you, I love you, I love you. Please if, um, press subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, leave a comment, um, share, um, what else? Um, and if you need to get in touch with me for a private reading, I do my mini readings for 25 and I do my large readings for 50. Um, you can hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Please give me 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. I also have a Facebook page. It's called Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. So I'm glad the disclaimers are out of the way. So let's get to the channeling. Um, the, you know, I just got some words. Um, I felt like some names wanted to come through, but I was really like focusing on these words so that I could try to get more out of it. But I didn't really, I didn't really get more out of them. Um, so like if anybody is sticking out in your head or in your circle, keep your eyes open, be alert be aware um because you never know what that's about i do know that um spirit wanted to excuse my finger my nail came off and i just did them yesterday i press ons um i do know that spirit wanted to give me some names so just watch out for these people okay um so the first word I got was organized. Capricorns, you know y'all are always in the boardroom. Y'all are the organized one. Y'all are the one putting the putting the game plan together. So I love that about y'all. Um, the next thing I got was frustrated slash work. So um, y'all are really great when it comes to work. When it comes to work, all of your readings are about work that you work a little bit too much. Um, but now it's seeming like there's frustration in the air. Maybe you want to change jobs. Maybe you want your job to move up a notch. Uh, you want it you want to get out there more, um, like social media maybe. Um, you want a different platform. You're frustrated. <laughs> and it didn't I the energy that I got really wasn't about frustration with people like the pe like your co-workers i didn't get that i just got that you're frustrated with work so i don't know if you want to open up your own business um and maybe get out of the corporate world that you're in um or opposite maybe you're tired of doing your own business and you want to be in a corporate world totally you got to apply it to your life um as we go through the cards i know that one of the one of the advice one of the advice that spirit always gives that I give to is just be grateful you have a job. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of people out there that don't even have jobs. So just be grateful for what you have. Work with what you with what uh work with what you have and until um until you're ready to make like an exit plan or um like if you're trying to move up a level or something like that. You need to prioritize, write things down, see what you want, talk to the universe, tell your God what you want. Ask and you shall receive. The next thing I got was work. Right under frustrated and work, I got work again. Um, people's eye is on you. So a lot of people are focused on either what you're doing um, or focused on you, period. Um... I don't know. The internet is crazy. People do watch you over like your IG, your Facebook, um, even just what you're, whatever you're promoting. People watch you and they analyze you. So just make sure you're presenting whatever you're presenting in the right way. I never have a problem with y'all cappies. 
um, presenting something right because y'all are the people. You are the workers. You know how to market. You know how to do these things. So if you are stuck right now in a stuck energy, you just have to sit back, put your pens and pencils down, go away from the, the, the work for a minute, relax, have a drink so that you can recharge and come up with new ideas because that is the last thing that I got on this paper was ideas slash promotion so i don't know if you having a change of heart about your promotion or you're putting out you have ideas about promotions you know how you're marketing and stuff like that so i think that's really great if you're having um ideas because that's the ace of swords you know we, that's like god putting in your mind boom do this boom do that and you go with it so i love that um, family slash adjustment around kids. So you're doing, you're, you're adjusting your work life around your kids. Um, you know, school and time, daycare, picking them up at school, books, homework, cooking. You're adjusting everything so that it is coordinating with your schedule, which is great. The only thing I want you to remember, Capricorns, and this is for my people who are in a relationship. There's someone over there on the couch waiting for you. You can't forget about the people who love you. Don't forget about your spouse because you're putting all your energy into you and work, okay? I think we always get that message too. On the, like my other previous videos, I think we got a similar message like that. Um, thinking of furthering your education. So there's nothing to say about that. If you're thinking about going to school, I think that's awesome. That's that's all spirit wants is for you to further your education in any kind of way. It doesn't have to be school. It could be a training course, a certificate. Uh, uh, it could be just knowledge from a person, you know. Um, so I think that's awesome because I know that's going to help you in the long run when it comes to your business, you know, your own business. Or if you don't have your own business, it'll come to, um, it'll help you in the long run, just period in your life. You know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll help you. The only thing Cappies is don't think that you know everything, you know, don't think like when you hear somebody giving you advice, please take it in. Don't talk. Listen. Okay, that has been a reoccurring message that I'm giving to a lot of the Zodiacs too. Um, and it has a lot to do with this moon, this new moon that's coming on October 6th. It's about this full moon, I should say. Um, it's all about changing the here and now. You know, a lot of people sometimes want to change. Um, they look further. They have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, even a year plan for their life, which is excellent. Everybody should have that. But this energy that's going to be coming off the moon wants you to have short goals, changing up your diet, um, changing up your mind, your perspective about one thing that's in your life, um, doing like a spring cleaning, you know, and I'm getting out of, getting rid of the old, coming into a new because all of the zodiacs are going into a new cycle okay i didn't get a lot on relationships i'm gonna be honest i didn't the only thing i got was what i told you do not forget about your spouse they are feeling a little left out they're feeling a little like you're doing your own thing or you're spending too much time at work um and they just want more time spirit can you give me um can you give me, let's start something off with the Capricorns. Give me some energy, please. Can you give me two cards? Um, something for the Capricorn energy, please. Thank you, excellent. See, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about working really hard, but it's also about training. It's about school. It's about being an apprentice. This is great. Y'all do work really hard. I love that about you Capricorns. Um, just remember that there's a whole life around you. As you're working, there's a whole life around you. There's kids, there's family, there's playtime. Be playful sometimes. Sometimes that will give you new ideas towards your work, towards your business, you know? 
Um, I don't know why I'm getting the word flirty. For, I guess for the single one, be a little flirty. You know, um, don't throw all of, again, Seven of Pentacles, you're building your business. This is... Um, this is like feeding your harvest, whatever you put your energy and your time and your money into, and it's growing. You, look at her, she doesn't look too, and this, there's no gender, but she doesn't look too happy because, and that's like, say if you have been putting your time and energy, it's been a year and a half, and you don't like where your money's at, your saving or whatever. Spirit is saying, be happy with what you, be happy with what you have. Some people, this is seven of pentacles. Some people, and now they're putting in my head the nine of pentacles, so I'm hoping you get that. Um, some people only have three of pentacles. Some people have no pentacles. So be, again, be grateful. Be grateful. You should be writing a gratitude list. You should be releasing all of this lack. If you have any lack in your mind, mind you, Cappies, y'all don't give me that energy that you are lacking, even when you are lacking. But this time period right here, there are some blockages going on in your in your um chakras um and i am feeling a little bit of lack or or a little bit of i want more you know what i'm saying but in order to get more you got to do school education this doesn't mean college or school like uh, like school school this means some type of training think about getting a a six month certificate in something or you know something short i don't know but just think about it and spirit is saying then your pentacles will um thrive your your work will your home life your your material wealth will thrive you know um, thank you, Spirit. You also got the chariot. Things are going to be moving really fast for you. Once this new moon comes, um, things will be moving really fast. A lot of different ideas, a lot of different work, um, a lot of different people I'm seeing surrounding you. Take it all in, but prioritize and take on one thing at a time, Cappies, okay? <clears throat> and don't forget about the people who love you. Um, four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about holding on to what you have. You could be, for the people who are in a relationship, whether it's good or bad, I'm getting the energy right now that you're holding on to a relationship, holding on. There's no, there's nothing wrong with holding on to a relationship. If you can see that this relationship has potential to grow, Hold on to it and work on it. So that means you're going to have to come out of the boardroom, whatever your boardroom work is, and really spend, put your energy and time into your family or your relationship. But if this is a relationship that you feel is not serving you, you have to ask yourself, why are you holding on to this? Then you have to ask yourself, are you throwing yourself into work all the time just so you can avoid this relationship and the issues that are going on there spirit is saying that you're gonna have to face it at some point you're going to and now they're giving me a tower they're giving me the tower card so you're gonna have to face it at some point this energy after october 6 is a new cycle for you capricorns so you're gonna have to go into it um i don't want to say rushing but you did get the the you did get the chariot card, which is rush energy, m momentum building up really quickly. So you're going to have to know how to face the issues, face work, take care of the kids, and take care of your spouse. But if you prepare now, it won't be a problem for you. Um, okay, thank you, Spirit. Can you tell me what this chariot is about, please? What is coming towards them? Thank you. Something, a message, an email, telegram, a person, some type of insane message that it has to do. I do. Whew. Sorry, y'all. When I when they give me intense energy because they're saying like it does have to do with work, but it has a, for some people it has to do with your relationship. Spirit, can you give me more on this chariot and this eight of wands, please? Thank you. Five of Swords, y'all. Five of Swords is winning at all costs. Five of Swords is about knowing that you're right, but pushing your rightness on someone. 
I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Listen to me. Look at, look, 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 look. Sometimes you got to take a step back. Sometimes you have to hear how you're coming off. Sometimes you have, look at the card. You see how he feels good because he won. But the people who are around him got their backs turned. They're walking away because they're like, yo, you're going about it all wrong. So you got to listen to other people's opinions. Listen to other people's ideas. It can't be all about you, Kathy's. It can't. So whatever this message is coming to you, I don't know. You might like it. You might not like it. You might want to change up things. But listen to whatever, listen to what the message is. Listen to whoever the, whoever the messenger, whoever's sending you this message. Listen to what they have to say. See how you can implement your coworkers into into this business or see how you can implement other people's ideas so that it can change up your strategy it can change up your promotion like like what i channeled earlier your promotion it can change up things get a different you know how they say fresh breath of air how do they what's that um sentence like a new fresh breath a new a new outlook on things you know someone else's outlook just add it to yours. Five of Swords is also like, it's not like the Seven of Swords, but it's very close. It's like, like you could be deceiving yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You know what I mean? Take a breather. Meditate. Meditate. Ask spirit what you should do, what, where, how you should go about whatever this situation is. I uh, knew it, six of cups. I didn't say that earlier, but I had a feeling this was going to come out. This is um, centered around either an ex coming back into your life or an ex reaching out to you through an email or something um, or through a text message. This is about children. This is also about children. Um, this can be... And I don't hear a lot of readers saying this, but this can be a happy card. You're happy about where you where you was and where you are. You're happy with your growth. You're happy with your kids' growth, like if you have older kids. Um, even if you have younger kids, like from when they was a baby, now they're three, and you see how much they progressed. Um, I love the Six of Cups when the energy is right. Most of the time I get the Six of Cups, and it's about an ex coming back into a person's life and the energy feels weird you know but now this energy does not feel weird this this energy feels content or happy <clears throat> bottom of the deck is the queen of cups she's very intuitive she knows about things before they happen she has premonitions she has a lot of dreams she's very magical so my thing is use your gifts when it comes to anything when it has to do with your kids teaching them training them teaching them how this world is you know um or if it comes to an ex you know you will know your instinct your intuition will tell you okay um spirit can you tell me something about this six of cups or can you just give me another card seven of wands and this is kind of what i was talking about and it has a lot to do with the five of swords seven of wands is creating boundaries which is a great thing but it's all about how you go about it it's how you communicate seven of, um seven of wands did i say seven of swords i'm sorry seven of wands um and this is the five of swords sorry seven of wands is about being on the defense you know what i mean and when it comes to work don't be so defensive if you have to play with other people. Now, if you are an entrepreneur and you are by yourself, that's fine. But eventually, you're going to have to work with other people or amongst other people. Be open to other people's ideas. Be open to other people's conversations. I want to say be open to other people's energy, but protect your energy, Cappies, okay? That is what this is. It's about creating boundaries, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And this is with the Six of Cups. So if you have an older child, I'm just throwing this out there. This It's like a sidebar. If you have older children and um, y'all are not... Or even teenage children, and, and y'all are not really getting along right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying, 
don't be on such a defense. Just take a, a different route, a different way of communicating with them. Um, all you can do is you, all you can have to do, all you can do is raise your kids. Leave them to the water. It's on them to drink. You know what I'm saying? And you have to have faith in yourself that you are a great parent, which you are. My niece is a Capricorn. She's an awesome mother. You know what I mean? Um, she has an awesome husband. He's a great, you know, parent also. So you have to have that um, willingness and knowingness that you did the right thing, you know? Just in case, sidebar for anyone who's going through something with their kids. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I love it. Ten of Pentacles, y'all. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, man. Ten of Pentacles, y'all. Spirit, can you tell me about this Ten of Pentacles? I'm hearing sacrifice or surrender. Please guide my hands to pick out the right. I see it. Thank you. To pick out the right card. Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Swords. This is about communication didn't we talk about that we uh, didn't i say sometimes you have to not talk and listen really really take in what people um are saying to you um if you have all these ideas run it by someone and instead of um instead of like uh how do i say instead of going back and forth with them really listen to what their ideas are are about your ideas so that you can implement it you know what i mean um queen of swords she communicates clearly everyone moves when she says move but her head is not in the cloud she's very loving she's not rude to anyone she thinks about other people's feelings she cares about what other people want and things like that um so spirit is trying to say you know, Pentacles is not just about money. It's about your home life, too. Remember, your your family, the people who love you, your spouse, your children. You know, so Spirit is saying, start to communicate. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like people in, in their heads about things. You're in your head. Cappy's another thing with y'all is y'all are perfectionists. Sometimes you got to chill with that. Sometimes you just got to chill with that. Life is not about perfection. Life is about getting through and see, live, loving the journey. That's what it's about. And Spirit is saying, you got to communicate somewhere, maybe in your home life or at work when it comes to your pentacles. You know, you're going to have to communicate a little bit better. Use your gifts. Spirit, can I get two more, please, for the cappies? Overall, Capricorns, the energy feels exciting. It feels new, like you're about to embark on new adventures. It feels really good. I just feel like there's little things in there that you need to um, twist and, um, you know, uh, how do you say it? Like tweak, if that's a word. <laughs> Spirit, can I get two more? The last two more, and then we could give them an overall, please. Two more, please. I see it. Thank you. Page of Swords. Didn't I, did I talk about? Yes, I said people's eye is on you. This is about people watching you over the internet or even from across the street. <laughs> I don't want to sound creepy or nothing like that. And I, like I said, the energy feels good. Good. It feels good. But you do have a lot of people watching like how you speak, your body language, how you talk, or who you used to be. These people know you for who you used to be, you know, and now you're changed, you're new and improved. People are not understanding. They're trying to get a better um, picture of you, you know what I mean? Some people are trying to throw dirt on you and some people are bigging you up. You are just going to have to throw that leg out like she doing, get into position like she doing, and say the hell with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The people that love you, you'll take in what they say um, and you'll deal with it. You'll work with it. You'll change up some things. And the people who don't like you, you're going to have to say good riddance. <laughs> Another thing about this card is that the ground she's standing on is fertile. It, everything is new. All the pages in the deck is... I want to say immature, but not in a, not in a bad way. Immature as in new, as in 
new like you like brand new like um like a newborn baby you know what i'm saying so when you have something new like a new business you can go boom you can go far 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 you could go far <laughs> you can go really far um but take your time um this is also an education a knowledgeable card taking on knowledge education training or just wisdom from other people you know what i mean thank you spirit i think y'all needed that card because i think this is a turning point for a lot of the capricorns and i think you're going to be getting advice from a lot of people um i think you're going to be sitting back and analyzing people but I, when you analyze take from what you can just like this reading take from what you can and use it to your you know life apply it to your life the best way you can the rest of it get rid of it you know um bottom of the deck again queen of cups and i shuffled so i'm taking this up spirit is really trying to tell you to use your heart use your heart in my, in my. isn't that song Mm, mm, mm. sorry um use your heart use your discernment um and really use your gifts take your time prioritize work is gonna go really good for you if you don't go stir crazy over it um, um give your energy give your energy all around to the people who care about you the people who love you the people who are supporting you okay open your ears really listen to what other people are saying thank you spirit four cups this is looking at what you had like say if you're not in a good time right now you're looking back at what you had um or a year ago or last year or Stop it. Look at what God is giving you. You see that extra cup right there? Unfold your arms and stop having an attitude. Okay? Because, <laughs> Cappies, I don't think y'all have attitudes, but I do think that you are getting real frustrated with whatever's going on right now, especially with work and in your love life. Um, and my thing is just be appreciative of what's right in front of you. You know what I mean? And then say if an argument is in front of you, deal with it, conversate about it, listen to the other person, try to compromise, you know what I mean? But then if it's not, just make a decision. Cappies, y'all never have problems when it comes to making a decision. Okay, so just make a decision. Ace of Wands, ideas. Thank you, Spirit. Ideas. Spirit is saying with the Four of Cups, and see, I wasn't going to do no more, but I knew King of Pentacles. Um, Spirit is trying to say, you. there's ideas. You are creative. You are passionate about something. And because you don't, you're looking at the past, or you're looking at, say if you had one contract you're in the corporate world you corporate world and you only did one contract today um spirit is saying stop looking at the one contract you have you are use these ideas i don't know if that was a great example but you know what i'm talking about use these ideas that are planted in your head don't sit around and cappies y'all don't sit around y'all work so instead of going work going to work and doing the same thing Create these ideas. Use these ideas that spirit, God, and the universe is given to you, okay? Take action. And that's weird that I say that. It's very weird that I say that because, Cappies, y'all do take action. You do. You do take action. I really do believe that. But I think the spirit is trying to say, take another form of action. You know, um, like other people's, I use other people's ideas. And when it comes to a relationship, I'm going to use the angel answers. When it comes to a relationship, um, uh, take action in a different way if you want to keep the relationship. Spirit, can I get three cards out of the angel answers, please, for the Capricorns? Again, if you want to contact me, you can contact me at Moon Danny. I see it. Thank you. Moon Danny1976 at gmail.com. Um, not the right time. Something that you are moving towards, like an investment, putting your money into something or a work or working with someone. It's just not the right time right now. Um, Spirit, can I get two more, please? Thank you. I see it.
Yes is the best card in the deck. Spirit, can I get two more, please? Capricorn energy. I see it. Spirit is saying if you t if you do what spirit is asking you to do, the advice that is given, such as communicate clearly, step back, get out of work for a minute, like take a weekend away, have a drink, take a day away, recal recalculate your brain, recharge. Um, what else? Think about um, education. Think about a training program or something that can further your career. Um, stop looking at the past um be grateful don't be the five of swords don't be don't don't be the five of swords um uh create boundaries but don't be defensive there's a lot of advice here as soon as you take action in those areas this will come to you and until then, Cappies, you will be all right. You will be all right. You are workers. You will be all right. I'm more concerned. Thank you, Spirit. I'm more concerned about, like, your outside life, not your work life, you know? Um, meditation brings answers. Meditate on it, baby. Sit down. Sit still. If, if meditation is hard for you, cook something. Dive into something that you really like that you can really concentrate on. You know what I mean? Sit still for a minute. Turn your phone off. Turn the radio off. Turn everything off. Sit still. See what um, spirit God in the universe is trying to bring you. Okay? Bottom of the deck is, what did I say? Compromise. I can't make this stuff up. I love you guys. Let me give you... Oh. I was just about to end it, but I'm ending it now. I love you guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Spirit, can I get two out of here? And then I'm going to go. Um, can I get two out of here? Yeah, I got to go to work, y'all. Opportunity and change. I told you, things are coming your way, Cappies. Don't worry. Things are coming your way. Earth and ground. Earth and ground. You have to be centered. You have to be centered. Bottom of the deck, intuition and download, y'all. Intuition and down, y'all. Use your intuition and see what spirit is trying to bring you and say to you, I love you. Have a great, great day.